Gosh, we haven't been to the Yai Publishing House in a while. Paimon wonders if they have any new books in. The one we read with A that time was pretty cool. Come on, this is a no-brainer, man. There's only one thing worth wishing for, and that is a ton of Mora. But the exam's next week. If I fail again, I'm seriously done for. I'm better off wishing that my exam goes smoothly. Ah, it's just an exam. Trust me, there's no problem you can't solve by throwing Mora at it. If it doesn't work, then just keep throwing till it does. What are they arguing about? It's quite a spirited debate. Huh? Really? You guys don't know? You need but stand on this land at midnight, lower your head and recite a special incantation, then your wish will come true! Is it from a novel? Looks like you guys really aren't in the loop. This, my friends, is the next big thing. A highly effective wish ritual guaranteed to make your wishes come true. A wish ritual? That actually works? I believe it's called... a. This. Yeah, no, let's fuck it. I can see this being memed to death. Right? Even Paimon knows that's just not how the world works! <laughs> I didn't believe it at first either, but that changed when it worked for someone I know. It's this guy called Kunihiko. He's practically always been unemployed, wastes his days away, and he owes a lot of money. Like, a lot. But get this. I don't see him for a few days, and suddenly I find him dressed to the nines and feasting at a high-class restaurant. I heard it directly from him. He used this wishing ritual, and the next day he woke up to find his whole bed filled high with Mora. His whole bed was filled with... <laughs> Wow! Calm down, bye, Mom. Of course, I'm sure the part about waking up lying on a bed of Mora is a bit of an exaggeration. But whether you believe it or not, it's not exactly a difficult ritual. It can't hurt to give it a try, right? If you're still feeling skeptical, just ask around. There are a lot of very compelling stories going around these days. Really? Well, come on! Let's go ask around right now, shall we? Where's such an urgency? Well, if it really is true, then just think of all the more of Hyman could... Oh, and you'd finally be reunited with your twin, too! <laughs> let's go, let's go! It seems like there really are a lot of people talking about this kind of stuff. <gasps> hey, see those two? Paimon remembers them from the AI Publishing House. One's an editor and the other's an author. Grasp the thought in mind. Clear like... Uh, clear like the light of the moon. As close as kin with you. No, thou. Wait, thee? Uh, hear my summons, right? No, no, it's not hear my summons, it's heed my summons. Heed! <sighs> You're never going to get it down at this rate. Hey! What are you guys up to? Whoa! Sheesh, you scared me! Okay. <sighs> okay. Uh, where did I leave off with the incantation again? Incantation? Are you guys trying out this new wishing ritual stuff too? Junkichi is trying it out to be specific. He's hit a bit of a creativity block recently, so... <sighs> I'm helping him make a wish so that he can move past it. Try again better writing. I mean, I obviously don't. But Junkichi never listens to an outside opinion, so all I can do is go along with it. Mr. Shigeru, can you please be a little more accommodating? This is extremely important to me. People have had all kinds of wishes come true. Become more attractive, get rich quick, ace their studies. I'm just a poor, struggling writer looking to get over a creative hurdle. Is that so much to ask? 
Anyway, I just know this is going to work. I have a gut feeling about it. Didn't you say the same thing when you went to make your wish at the Grand Narukami Shrine? Oh, I just know this is gonna work. I have a gut feeling about it. The Omamori from the Shrine take too long to have any effect on your luck. Uh, all right, enough of that. Help me get this incantation down. My new book depends on it. <sighs> Look, to be completely honest, I think you need to sit down and have a good think about what kind of story you want to write. Where's all that self-confidence you had when you first started out? Look at you now, trying dubious methods from any old light novel. Wait, 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 what? This wishing ritual comes from a light novel? Yep, it's from the one called A First-Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits. Huh. No, it's most likely a self-published title. It just appeared out of nowhere and took Inazuma by storm. As a fellow writer, I'll refrain from passing comment on how well the story is written, but everyone is saying the wishing incantations it contains are the real deal. Look, Junkichi, yes, everyone's saying it's real, it works, but that's only half the story. I've also heard lots of people saying that everyone who's had their wish granted using this method starts behaving strangely. What's so surprising about that? They're probably just giddy with joy at having their wish come true. Hmm, this is starting to sound a little suspicious. Why don't we go to the Grand Narukami Shrine and ask Yaimiko about it? She's the expert when it comes to both light novels and the supernatural. The new book from Yai Publishing House is out. Come take a look. Hello there, young ones. What brings you to the shrine? It just so happens that I have a wonderful novel here. I highly recommend it. I like your input. Oh? Well, what did you want to ask? Well, we were just... Uh, actually, you look kind of busy. Is this a bad time? <laughs> no, not at all. It's nothing major. L Lady Guji, what do you mean, nothing major? I'm begging you, you've got to help me save my brother! What? It really is nothing major, I stand by that. Oh, but since you're so curious, let's have him relate the story one more time, just for you. You two seem to have a good relationship with Guji Ai. Please, put in a good word for me. You have to convince her to help my brother. Here's what happened. My name is Kato Yohei, and my brother is Kato Shingo. All he's ever wanted is to become a swordmaster, so he once asked Sensei Domon of the Make Yoshisui art to take him on as a disciple. Domon turned him away, took one look at him and said he didn't have what it takes to train in the art of the sword. But my brother wasn't about to resign himself to defeat. He trained every day as hard as he could, and finally proved himself by defeating one of Domon's best disciples in a duel recently. But since his victory, he's been acting extremely strange. It's like he's become a completely different person. The doctors can't find anything wrong with him, so I'm betting it must be the work of an evil spirit. That's why I'm here, begging for Guji Yai's help. <laughs> you know, there really aren't as many evil spirits lurking around as you seem to think. Your brother achieved the goal he'd been striving toward for as long as he can remember, and now it's gone. It's only natural that he feels a little empty and lost while he's trying to find a new direction. If it were me, I'd just leave him be for a couple of days. He'll recover on his own soon enough. No, Lady Guji. If you saw him for yourself, you'd know. I guarantee you he's not acting like someone who feels empty and lost. Oh, all right, all right. Then tell me, when did your brother spar with Domon's disciple? About... Five days ago. Hmm. Five days ago, you say? 
Yes, Lady Guji. That's a long time for him to be acting up like this. I'm really worried about him. Our greatest wish is to one day found our own school, just like Domon. We can't jeopardize that dream now. Wait a minute, now I'm a little confused. Are you here to save your brother, or are you here to make your dreams of founding a martial arts school come true? Uh, well, they're kind of two sides of the same coin, aren't they? Hmm? Whatever. Let me ask you this. Have you heard of any interesting new rumors lately? If so, I'd love to hear about them. What? Rumors? I... I haven't heard anything. Oh dear. Well, that's too bad. Lady Guji, please stop changing the subject. This is someone's life we're talking about here. Please, you've got to help me. Miko, he seems really desperate. His thing with his brother sounds really bad. Come on, you should help him. Doesn't his pitiful look make you want to torture him? Okay, fine. Then it's decided. <laughs> Yay, Miko! So you're gonna help him? Kato, whatever your name was, these two guests are trusted acquaintances of mine, and in fact, they are experts in resolving all manner of strange and supernatural phenomena. Exorcisms and that sort of thing are all in a day's work for them. Yeah! Uh, wait a sec! Um, r really? Is that hesitation that I detect in your voice? So, let me get this straight. You come begging to me for help, I actually recommend someone for the job, then suddenly you start doubting me? Not at all, never. Uh, whatever Lady Guji says, I trust wholeheartedly. Thank you two for your willingness to help. Please follow me. Now hold on a hot second, Miko! We may be a lot of things, but we ain't exorcists! Yeah, it's beyond our level. <laughs> Don't worry. If he wants an exorcism, just grab a handful of salt and mutter some mumbo jumbo while you're sprinkling it around. It's a common trope in light novels, right? You just have to have a bit of bravado. As soon as the protagonist gains self confidence, everything else just magically falls into place. This is not a light novel. Well, you were the ones who seemed concerned about his situation. Don't you think it would be a little unfair to make me do all the work? Besides, we both know you wouldn't be here at the Grand Narukami Shrine unless you had a request for me too. This is an opportunity to demonstrate that you come in good faith. Uh, this feels all wrong, but you technically have a point, so... All right, let's go. Don't worry now, I'll be coming along too. Okay, let's follow Yohei and go visit his brother. What is going on here? Granted, you can never be quite sure what's going on in Miko's mind, but she seems even more disinterested than usual in Yohei's situation. Well, a life's at stake here, so it looks like we'll have to deal with that first before we'll get the chance to ask her about the incantation stuff. Hmm. Hmm, how strange. My brother's been meditating here pretty much constantly over the past few days, but now he's gone. Meditating? Yeah, it's something that he suddenly started doing after defeating Domon's disciple. He just sits there alone, talking to himself. It's pretty disturbing, actually. But that's not important right now. Where the heck could he have gone in his current state? Hmm, this does pose a bit of a problem. If we can't find your brother, well... We can't perform an exorcism with nothing to exercise, can we? Kato, whatever your name was, given the circumstances, why don't you start by going to find your brother and also picking up a handful of salt on your way? We'll need to use it during the exorcism. Okay. Uh, okay, got it. I'm on it. 
Nico, what about us? Shouldn't we help look for his brother, too? <laughs> no need. While What's-His-Face is handling that, we'll take a walk around and ask people what they know about the two brothers. Maybe we'll find out some amusing details. Brothers. Oh, are you debt collectors? Yohei said to tell you not to worry. He'll be able to pay you back as soon as he has enrolled a few disciples. Huh? Debt collectors? No, no, we're not here for anything like that. But, uh, it sounds like Yohei and Shingo have gotten themselves into a bit of a pickle. Well, yes. I don't think there's any disputing that. Those two don't have an ounce of dedication between them. They just hop between ideas and won't stick to anything. Huh? But Yohei said his brother has always wanted to become a sword master, and even asked Domon to be his sensei. That's true, yes. Shingo begged Domon to take him on, and eventually, he finally relented. But even after convincing a renowned sensei to give him a chance, he was the same as ever, bumming around in class instead of focusing on his training. In the end, Domon had had enough and kicked him out. But Shingo was resentful about it. He blamed Domon for not seeing his potential, and even declared that he would challenge a disciple of Domon to a duel. Wait, what? That's not what we heard. Oh, how interesting. We heard a slightly different version. My brother wasn't about to resign himself to defeat. He trained every day as hard as he could and finally proved himself by defeating one of Domon's best disciples in a duel recently. <laughs> Yohei said that? That Shingo trained hard? That's ridiculous. He just lay there cussing to high heaven all day every day. Some training regimen, that is. Yohei did tell me about Shingo winning the fight, but I took it with a grain of salt. You can ask Kenji at the village entrance more about that. He always has reliable information. So it's her. The one I've been waiting for. Brothers. Oh. oh, you mean Shingo and Yohei? Yeah, we heard that Shingo defeated an apprentice of Domon's recently. Is that true? <laughs> yes, it's true. But wait, so are you here because you heard they're starting their own school and you're looking to sign up? We're not here to sign up, but we would like to hear more details about the fight. Well, you've come to the right person. I actually went to watch it. I thought it was a joke when I first heard that Shingo was going to challenge a disciple of the Meikyo Shisui art. But when he drew his sword, oh, he became a whole different person. The way he handled his blade, it was like flowing water, mesmerizing to watch. Domon's disciple is no pushover, but he was absolutely no match for Shingo. Is Shingo really that strong? Yep, he seemed pretty euphoric after winning the duel too. He was celebrating very vocally, saying something like, What a duel. I haven't felt this good in a long time. <laughs> Any other details to share? We've heard that Shingo has been behaving rather out of character since then. Hmm. I'd definitely say that he has more energy than he used to. In the past, he never used to do much except lie around sunbathing all day. But just yesterday, for example, I saw him cutting down trees for the village head. In the space of one afternoon, he did what most people couldn't finish in three days. Not only that, but he managed to fell a lavender melon tree with just one kick. Oh. Hmm, quite impressive. Things got weird after that, though. The village head brought out some tofu for him, and he just flipped out. He shouted, what is that stuff? Keep that away from me, and then ran off. Lady Guji, esteemed exorcists, finally I found you. I found my brother. He's at the waterfall. 
And I've got the salt you asked for, too. Come on, let's go! Oh, as much as I'd prefer to stay and hear some more delicious details, I suppose we'd better be going now that he has been found. Right now, right here. Take flight! Finally, I... No. Give me your sheep. Show them. Right now. over there. That's him at the waterfall. So this is Yohei's brother. Whoa. He's meditating while sitting in a waterfall. That's pretty wild. Hey, listen. He's talking to himself. <clears throat> Woo! <laughs> How's that? <laughs> Can you feel it? Uh... Can you feel the feeling of manliness? Found your own school. <laughs> so shallow. How can a manly man aspire to something so lame? Uh, please, spare me, spare me. I, I can't feel the manliness. I can't even feel the cold anymore. I, I can't take any more. I'm gonna die. Yohei, Yohei, save me, save me. Did you hear that? All the nonsense aside, he's going for help. Huh? Who... Who goes there? He stood up! And now he's coming this way! No! Don't come any closer! Help! What do we do? Miko, think of something! Oh, poor thing. Yohei, your brother's life is hanging in the balance, and he's using his final breaths to call on you for help. Whatever shall we do? Uh, I... Well, how should I know? The way it looks to me is that Shingo feels terribly resentful to you about something. Would you mind telling me what that's all about? I don't know what to tell you. I don't know. You don't know? But surely you should have more insight than anyone else into how your brother came to be this way? Yohei... I suggest you think very carefully before you open your mouth again. This is a life or death situation. Uh, um, um. Uh, uh, um, your brother is your closest relative. You must have noticed straight away when he started acting out of character. And yet, five whole days pass before it occurs to you to come and seek help from me. 
You really expect me not to notice the gaping holes in your story? But... Uh, I... As you wish. It's fine by me if you don't want to tell the truth. But after Shingo dies, you'll be next. It's futile trying to escape. Anywhere in the world you run to, it will be right behind your back. After all, you did summon it together. Ah! All right, I'll talk, I'll talk, I'll tell you everything. My brother and I used a wishing incantation. We made a wish. My first hand guide to summoning spirits. Yes, yes, that's it. The one that's all the rage right now. You just have to recite an incantation at midnight and your wish will be granted. Just like the book described, we drew the magic symbol, stepped inside it barefoot at midnight, said the incantation, and lo and behold, spheres of light appeared all around us. After my brother wished to become a swordmaster, it really worked. Out of nowhere, he suddenly had these amazing sword skills. But his whole personality changed, too. Seriously? Because... I was worried that if he goes back to normal, he'll lose his skills with the sword. If that happens, it'd ruin our plans to start a martial arts school, and we'd be back to being poor. I just wanted to keep this under wraps until we'd managed to get the dojo set up and paid off our debts. So then, why'd you go to the Grand Narokami Shrine? Well, because with the way he's acting now, I was worried that rumors might start spreading that he's gotten involved in the occult arts or something, and then no one would want to sign up as his disciple. So I was thinking that maybe Lady Guji might have a way to get my brother back to normal, but let him keep his sword skills? My, look at you with your ingenious schemes. Stop deluding yourself. These newfound sword skills are not his. They belong to the spirit that has possessed him. You're right, you're right. We were wrong to do what we did. We had this coming. All right then. Your turn now, my little friend. Toss the salt and then draw your sword. It's the spirit! See that? That's what you summoned. And look, now that Shingo's no use, it's coming straight for you. <laughs> save me! Save me! Uh, Miko! He fainted! What do we do now? We do nothing. But you, little one. Just a quick fight and this will all be over. <laughs> Who's this? Ah, a fellow swordmaster. Come on, fight me. Okay. He's coming. Be careful. Emerge. Right here, emerge. Talk about it later. They're about to wake up. <coughs> what am I doing here? Yohei? Yohei, is that you? Shingo, are you all right? Yohei, I had the weirdest dream. 
I dreamed that I wasn't a useless loser with a sword anymore. I even beat one of Dolmon's disciples. I thought we could finally open a dojo of our own now. But then I realized I couldn't control my own body. And there was this voice in my ear talking to me constantly. I was terrified and I wanted to take control of my body back, but I couldn't. And the voice kept talking about manliness. Shingo, we shouldn't have made that wish. We summoned a spirit and it possessed you. Yes, and had we not come to your rescue, your life would have been over before too much longer. Then the spirit would have haunted your brother until he died of fatigue too. Thank you, Lady Guji, and thank you for your assistance, exorcism experts. All right, take him to get some rest. He's very weak right now, having been possessed for quite a few days. He will experience a high fever, but it won't be fatal. Remember, this is the price you pay. At this point, I would normally lecture you on the dire consequences of using occult methods to obtain power that does not belong to you. But I think you get the picture now, don't you? Yes, we understand now. We won't do it ever again. Thank you, Lady Guji. Thank you, exorcists. We'll be on our way then. Come on, Shingo. Miko, would they really have lost their lives if we hadn't gotten involved? And if so, why the heck were you so reluctant to help out? Oh, they would have been fine. I had to scare them a little, though. Otherwise, I hardly think these two lazy rascals would have learned their lesson. So, what was it that possessed Shingo? You saw it all for yourselves. I'm sure you can figure out what kind of spirit had possessed him, can't you? Ah, uh, yes, an Oni. Ah! Paimon's got it! It was an Oni. Correct. Although it possessed Chingo, it didn't have any ill intentions. As a matter of fact, it actually seemed like it was trying to train Chingo to become bolder. Huh. Fair enough. But it seemed like it had the opposite effect. Tossing salt caused it to temporarily leave Shingo's body. Then, you exhausted its strength by fighting it, so it disappeared. Even if we'd done nothing at all, Shingo would have eventually become too weak for his body to host the spirit, and it would have left of its own accord. Of course, it would have been more stressful for Shingo and Yohei that way. <laughs> Still, the experience may ultimately have been more effective than me scaring them into submission with a little exaggeration. Whew. Well, the main thing is that nobody got hurt. All right, seems like we've wrapped up everything here. Come on, off we go. Hold on, Miko. You say everything's wrapped up, but are you sure about that? Hmm? You mean you disagree? Yeah, the book. Oh, you mean that they got the incantation from that book. Yes, I know the one. Actually, that book's the whole reason we came looking for you at the shrine today. Incantations seem really popular right now. Human beings don't have powers like us yokai. It's quite understandable for them to be interested in incantations to summon the supernatural. That's not the point. The problem is that the incantations in the book are actually capable of summoning spirits and stuff. And loads of people are trying it. <sighs> Even then, humans only have so much strength. Even if they do successfully summon a spirit with the incantation, it won't stay with them for very long. I really wouldn't fret about it. But who wrote this book? And why? Don't we think there might be a bigger safety risk here? What do you think, Traveler? I'm more curious about Miko's reaction. You're right. Big events in the light novel market should be at the center of her attention, surely. But she doesn't seem to care about this book at all. <sighs> Lady Yai, I finally found you. Kuroda, what are you doing here? 
I'm here to report on Yai Publishing House's sales for the last month. All the numbers are here. Please, take a look. Let me see. What? We're losing market share? Yes. Overall bestseller, reader's favorite, and trending ranking. We're being beaten in all categories. One book is topping the charts. It's called A First-Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits. <laughs> Both of you, back here now. <laughs> Nico, what is it? You have a really scary look on your face right now. <sighs> Things just got serious. A First-Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits is an all-round hit, summarily beating the novels of the Yai Publishing House by every analysis. Define serious. Just what is that supposed to mean? I worked extremely hard to promote our latest featured work, and now a rival book comes out of nowhere and steals our thunder. If this isn't the very definition of intolerable, I don't know what is. I have to come up with a counterplan. And you are going to help me. Huh? How is this our problem all of a sudden? Paimon, please. Who wrote this book and why? Don't we think there might be a bigger safety risk here? Oh, am I to take it that the safety of the people of Inazuma isn't so important in your eyes after all? Wait, what, uh, what just happened? Again, you technically have a point, but this feels all wrong! Nothing's wrong, okay? Come on. We're going to war. I'm going to head back and make some preparations. Meet me outside the Yai Publishing House. What's your plan of action to deal with this rival book? Hmm, why don't you take a guess? I'll give you a hint. It's to do with the Yai Publishing House. Hmm. Oh, Paimon knows! Combine the reputation of the Yai Publishing House with the status of Guji Yai and tell everyone that the incantations in that book are dangerous! Oh, wow! Your first guess, and you got it absolutely... ...wrong. Yeah! Oh, uh, wait! Seriously? That wasn't it? A first-hand guide to summoning spirits is the hottest light novel right now. If we did as you suggested, we would effectively be advertising to everyone that the incantations are real. In bending over backwards trying to warn everyone about the dangers, all we would accomplish is to create more curious readers ready to try them out. Also, sales for the book would only increase further. Okay, yeah, that would be pretty catastrophic. Hmm. Oh, how about we confiscate all the copies? Huh. <sighs> Leaving aside the issue of the enormous manpower and resources such an operation would require, Going to such lengths over a light novel would be extremely disruptive to the lives of Inazumans. But that means there's nothing we can do. Well, I've been thinking. I've read a first-hand guide to summoning spirits. It has many other good qualities besides the incantations alone. The book contains many ancient kaiden, or tales of the supernatural, and is written in a very engaging way. That is why the book has become so popular. Hmm... I think we're going to have a difficult time trying to rein in its popularity while it's the only work in its league on the market. Ah, fighting fire with fire. That's right. How do you get rid of the next big thing? You replace it with the next next big thing. So what we're going to do is create Inazuma's newest hit novel. Smash our rival's sales numbers and win our readers back. 
That is how Yaimiko wages war. Incidentally, this will also be the best way to combat the influence of a first-hand guide to summoning spirits. Wait, Miko. So you want us to write a novel? Can I do that? <laughs> well, becoming an accomplished novelist certainly isn't an overnight process. But let's not forget that I am the chief editor of the Yai Publishing House. I have my ways. I did say this is what we're going to do. I trust that the word teamwork is in your vocabulary. Anyway, there is a writer's submission event going on at the moment. Start by talking to readers and finding out what they're into. When you have an idea of what the current trends are, come back and see me. I'll be at Uyu Restaurant. Find me there when you're done. I will assemble a team, and we can work while we eat. Nah, you're gonna work. The key to a successful light novel is having good illustrations. When to use illustrations, what they should contain, and which artists you should commission for them. These are all key things to bear in mind. Good illustrations can make up for bad writing. But on the flip side, a bad illustration can ruin your novel, even if you have the best story in the world. There's a saying that light novels are essentially a case of buy art, get words free. I'd agree with that. Too bad most of the top artists have jam-packed schedules, so it's extremely difficult to commission them. The illustrations in A First-Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits are incredible, but it's unlike any art style I've ever seen before. I've been reading light novels for a long time now. I'm mainly into big, ambitious fantasy works with an original core concept and good storytelling. These days, though, everyone seems to be imitating each other. Most of the time, I can guess what the story is about just from the title. You know, like in real life? The only recent book worth mentioning is A First-Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits. Not only is it a good story, but the descriptions are really true to life. So much so that I'm almost wondering if maybe the author really has met all those yokai before. been reading like these days though everyone the only re not only is it a good the yai publishing house has held many writers submission events to date the winner gets a huge amount of publicity it's been the ticket to fame for a lot of authors if you've got a good idea for a story you definitely don't want to miss out I'll be honest, I read light novels for the cheap thrills. <laughs> In most traditional stories, the protagonist usually has this long and drawn-out character arc, usually involving a process of separation, loss, and ultimately growth and renewed strength. It reads well and everything, it's just a little slow-paced for me. By contrast, there's this popular light novel at the moment called A First-Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits where the protagonist is super strong right from the get-go. That's what I mean by cheap thrills. Action-packed right from page one. The protagonist is a kitsune who has not only mastered the secret art of incantations, but also tea ceremony, painting, and calligraphy. There's much more to light novels than Paimon realized. <sighs> Let's go tell our findings to Yai Miko. Let me introduce the team. 
You've already met Junkichi and Shigeru. Oh, these Shigeru two. is an experienced editor, and Junkichi is the author he's partnered with. Junkichi's working through a creative lull at the moment, but all his past works have been very popular with young people. He's developed a distinct and enduringly popular style. Satomi is Yai Publishing House's ace in the hole. Her specialty is that she can write all kinds of completely different stories and all under different pen names. As for what those names are, well, <laughs> that's a trade secret. They will be teaming up with us to collectively create the novel that knocks a first-hand guide to summoning spirits off its perch. So, feeling better about my plan now? Uh-huh. It definitely makes sense. <laughs> now then, tell me what you found out about readers' preferences. Hmm, all very true. An original core concept, a fast pace, quality illustrations, and lots of action. This is the formula that will guarantee good sales numbers. More importantly than that, even though it's a work of fiction, we have to deliver a sense of realism. Paimon followed pretty much all of that, but there's still one question. What are we actually gonna write about? For example, we know we need an original core concept, but how do we come up with one? <laughs> Before you can answer that question, you have to understand your target audience. Take a first-hand guide to summoning spirits, for example. When I read it, all I find is common knowledge to the kitsune, but to the general public, it's bursting with new and interesting ideas. It all comes down to the size of the information gap between author and reader. As a traveler, there must be a great many things you know that are complete unknowns to the people of Inazuma. What is commonplace to you may be fresh and original to them. Oh, right! So maybe we can take inspiration from our time in Mondstadt and Lila! Hmm... That would make it a completely different genre than a first-hand guide to summoning spirits. Uh, is that gonna be a problem? Not at all. You don't have to worry so much about how to compete with that book. All you have to do is provide some interesting ideas based on your travel experiences. As long as the core content is interesting, my expert team here will be able to flesh out the details. With chapter one, then. Uh, what are you thinking? Reincarnated in another world, encounters with airborne emergency rations. No, no one would ever go for that, no matter mm. how you tried to play it. Hmm, out of a maximum of ten points, I'd give that a nine. <laughs> Is there really flying emergency food in other worlds? How does it taste? And how do you cook it? <laughs> it's a strong opening. An easy way to grab the reader's attention. Never underestimate the appeal of culinary-oriented subject matter. Food, after all, is a topic that everyone is interested in. Hey! Hmm, good job, little one. You're not only drawing on your own experiences, but it seems you're filtering them through the lens of the kinds of light novels you've read in the past. I think you really understand what we're trying to do here. Thoughts from the experts? Are we able to work with this general framework to make an interesting story? Yeah, we think it works. I tend to overcomplicate the core concept if I'm not careful, so this deals with that problem. <laughs> That's good. Okay, we're done with chapter one. Let's move on to chapter two. Huh? Won't that do for now? Readers will devour your content a lot more quickly than you'd think. If we don't keep delivering the goods now we've caught their attention, all our hard work so far is in vain. Hurry, chapter two, let's go. Can't you see that Satomi is waiting? Hmm? What's wrong with you? You don't look so good. Hmm. My hands go on blank. Hmm, what a pity. I thought your beginner's luck would carry you a little further before it came to this. But alas, the time has come prematurely. 
For a king to what? What's happened? The bane of our existence. Writer's block. It's your arch nemesis for life, appearing without warning and inflicting a pain worse than death upon the writer. They sell their souls just to get their muse back. Sounds awful! When this happens, the best thing you can do is have a bite to eat and take a proper break. <clears throat> uh, boss, get me a plate of fried tofu and get some kushikatsu for these two. Just the basic kind will do. Don't worry, this is my treat. Your treat? Oh, wait a minute. Miko, we'll be getting paid for all the hard work we're doing, right? Of course. Everyone that takes part in the creative process will be paid. All right, cool. Then let's press on, shall we? Don't give up now. For the sake of our paycheck, get your brain going! Hmm. Money. Oh, oh! Does this mean your inspirations come back? Hmm. Rock and roll, girl. The Leeway Academy has more student clubs than you can shake a stick at. And as the new kid on the block, the protagonist is the one they're all fighting over. There's the culinary club, the architecture club, the funerary club, <laughs> even the coconut milk research club. But in the end, the protagonist chose to join the rock and roll club. Taking a chance on their youthful dreams, four newcomers to the academy form a rock and roll band that really begins to take off. Paimon loves it. Hmm, I give it a 9.5. A yeah. classic tale of youth and friendship. It never gets old. I especially like the head of the club. Great character design. She really has rock and roll coursing through her veins. I can almost feel the heat from that fire in her soul. Approved. Oh yeah! Great. Well, now Satomi can get started on that. Leave it to me, Lady Yai. Let's write about Inazuma in the third chapter, shall we? I can help with this one. We can use the Vision Hunt Decree or your experience in the Resistance. Any ideas? No. Farewell, literature hunt decree. The strict principal Raiden of the Inazuma Academy decided to confiscate all light novels. <laughs> With the help of Lady Kitsune, the protagonist defeats Principal Raiden in an exam before the throne, forcing the principal to abolish the literature hunt decree. Are we absolutely sure we can publish this? We can and we will. I think it's great. One thing, though. We'll need to rewrite the part about me giving you the omomori. Let's change it to... The mysterious Lady Kitsune teaches the protagonist a spell that can make their wishes come true. The protagonist uses this spell to defeat the Raiden Shogun in battle. That should do the trick. Oh, so we're really going head to head with our rival on this one, huh? <laughs> I suppose so. Once they're done writing the manuscript, I'll write the passage where the protagonist recites the incantation myself. Are we done then? Do you really think this will be able to beat a first-hand guide to summoning spirits? The content is fine. Now we just need to promote it. I will contact an artist to make some illustrations. I'm positive they will be at least as good as those in A First-Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits. We'll also need an endorsement on a paper band around the book. I can get the wonderful Ms. Hina to write that. She runs a regular Q&A column in That's Life magazine. The people of Inazuma absolutely adore her. Hey. You're free to take a break while the creative team is doing their work, but please go by the Yai Publishing House at some point to commission Ms. Hina for that recommendation. 
Once our light novel is complete, let's meet at the writer's submission event. Hmm, let me think. What spell does Lady Kitsune teach to the protagonist? Ah, I've got it. <laughs> I've got to make sure it sounds suitably mysterious. <laughs> <laughs> 